I'm Teacher Mike, and today we are learning some English sentences that you can use to make conversation with tourists. In the first half of this video, we're going to look at things that you can say to offer help and start a conversation when you see someone who looks like they might be a tourist. And in the second half, we'll look at some friendly questions that you can ask someone who you know is a tourist. For example, if you are a driver and you want to make friendly conversation with your passengers, or if you work in a hotel and you want to build rapport with your guests. Also, it's very important to remember that not all tourists speak English, and even if they do speak English, it's probably not their first language. And even if they are a native English speaker, your accent might be very difficult for them to understand. So when you try to start conversations with tourists, make sure that you are speaking clearly and not too fast. Now let's get started with the language. When you are in public and you want to start a conversation with someone you don't know, the first thing that you should do is say excuse me. Look for someone who looks like they need help, Say excuse me, and then ask them one of these questions. Do you need help? You can use this one in any situation in which it looks like someone might need help with something. Do you need help finding something? Do you need help getting somewhere? Do you need directions? You can use these ones when it looks like someone is lost or trying to find something. If they say yes, tell them how to go wherever they are trying to go. Or, if it's nearby, you can say this. It's nearby. I can take you there if you'd like. And they might say no just because they don't want to bother you. If that happens, you can say this. Really, it's no problem. I'm happy to practice my English. After you have helped them, they will probably say thank you. Then, you can say this. You're welcome. I'm happy to practice speaking English. Is there anything else I can help you with? If they say no, you can say, Okay, enjoy the rest of your trip. And then, go find another person to help. Also, here's another idea for people who aren't comfortable walking up to strangers and starting conversations. Suppose you live in Thailand. Make a sign that looks like this. I guarantee that if you take that sign to a place where there are lots of tourists and you spend a few hours there, at least five people will stop to talk with you. Now here are some friendly questions that you can ask when you know that someone is a tourist. And again, let's just pretend that we are in Thailand. Is this your first time visiting Thailand? It's a basic yes-no question, but it's a good question to start with. How long are you here for? This just means, how long are you staying in Thailand? How long is your trip? How has your trip been so far? This basically means, have you been enjoying your trip? But because it is an open question, it makes it clearer that we want them to tell us about their experiences, not just give a yes-no answer. Also, so far basically means, from the beginning until now. We use it to show that we know that a situation may change in the future. Are you visiting any other cities on your trip? You could also replace the word cities with towns or countries depending on what you want to ask. Is there anything that you'd like to know about our language or culture? This is just a friendly way to let them know that you want to help them and you are happy to answer any questions that they have. If you're talking to someone who has been in the country for at least one day already, here are some questions that you can use to ask them about their experiences. Have you been to any of the museums yet? What foods have you tried so far? What's your favorite place that you visited so far? And here are three questions that you can use to get more information about their interests so that you can give them better recommendations. Are there any foods that you're interested in trying? 
Are there any specific places that you're interested in visiting? What type of activities are you interested in? So yeah, those are the basic sentences that I recommend. Do you have to use those ones? No, you don't. But I think they're pretty good. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.